Is this a victory lap for President Obama and the Obama administration so far from what you've heard? It's clear that in this speech it touted some of the accomplishments the, the administration has had. Um, for example, just over the course of the five years Obama has been in office, they've doubled renewable energy capacity. Um, he talked about the, the reduction in emission limits, a very substantial reduction. We're now kind of 11 percent below where we were in 2005. Um, so in one sense he was very kind of was very forceful about tout, touting these, uh, these accomplishments. All right, Michelle, we just heard from Peter some of the comments that stood out to him that the president made. Is the takeaway, just bottom line, if there's one thing to get out of this, it's going to be harder for big coal to function, right? If that's there's one thing to remember, that's what it is. That's exactly right. There's dozens of initiatives he's probably going to put, put out in some form or another, but definitely the biggie has to do with the existing power plants. Remember, again, last year the EPA already, already kind of put a proposal that made it very difficult to build new power plants, new coal plants. What now he's basically going to say is that existing power plants are going to face an even more difficult future. And the coal plants already have been having trouble dealing with very low gas prices. We are already predicting 60 gigawatts of coal is going to be retired by 2020. Um, and remember, this is a coal that represented at one point 50 percent of the country's electricity. Now it's slipped to 37 percent of the country's electricity. Um, so it's a very, very difficult battle for, for coal. So which companies might be affected the most? The companies that are going to be affected tend to be uh, coal plant owners, companies like uh, Southern, um, companies like AEP, but you also kind of talk about the coal producers, um, companies like Peabody, for example, or Arch Coal. Um, these are the companies that, that, that basically kind of are providing uh, coal-fired coal electricity. Um, however, don't, the, the industry will not take this lying down. You can definitely can expect um, challenges at the congressional level. You can definitely expect challenges in the courts.